Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to use phenolphthalein to detect the presence of sodium hydroxide while electrolyzing water. Check this out. For this experiment, I'm using phenolphthalein as an indicator, a petri dish, my DC power supply, sodium chloride, a beaker with 150 milliliters of distilled water, and a stir rod. The first step is to create an electrolytic solution, so I'm going to start adding sodium chloride to my beaker of distilled water. Stir in the salt until your solution is aqueous. Once your solution is aqueous, add a few drops of phenolphthalein, which only turns color in the presence of a base. So in the presence of an acid or pH neutral, it's clear. So you can see that right now, we have pH neutral in our salt water solution. Check out what happens when we electrolyze this solution. You might be surprised. While your power supply is turned off, add your electrolytic solution to the Petri dish such that the solution touches both electrodes that are connected to each side of the dish. Now, as you pass electricity through the salt water solution, a redox reaction occurs. So at the cathode, you have sodium ions that are being reduced as they gain electrons, forming sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, which should turn the phenolphthalein color pink at the cathode, whereas at the anode, the chloride ions are being oxidized as they lose electrons. Check it out. Okay, and now it's time to turn on our power supply. Look for that color change at the cathode. There it is. You can definitely see this turning pink at one side. That's where your sodium hydroxide is forming. Look at that. Here's the balanced equation for this fun redox reaction. We start with reactants, sodium chloride and water. We have two moles of sodium chloride, that's the 2NaCl, and two moles of water, that's 2H2O. When electricity passes through that solution, it creates the products chlorine, hydrogen, and sodium hydroxide. We have one mole of the diatomic molecule of chlorine gas, that's Cl2. We have one mole of the diatomic molecule of hydrogen gas, Gas, that's H2, and we have two moles of sodium hydroxide, that's the 2 NaOH. This is a reduction oxidation reaction because at the cathode, sodium is being reduced as it gains electrons, forming sodium hydroxide, whereas at the anode, the chloride ion is losing electrons as it becomes oxidized, forming chlorine gas. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.